Early series, he managed really well, got the ball out quick. Uh, you know, it, it was pretty remarkable. The ball was coming out quick, and they couldn't get him with second-level blitzes. I mean, linebackers might have came free on a couple things, but he still got the ball out. And that was, uh, I was going to say, oh, they got him. Well, <laughs> he he took think, a yeah. Just talk about the punishment that he took, though. I mean, all, all the teammates just talked about how much oh, they – You know, playing quarterback in the SEC is going to be a punishing deal, especially against the teams we play. You right. know, I mean, you, you got to be able to do it. If you want to play on the next level, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, I was very pleased with him getting rid of the football. We timed all his throws, and they were out quick enough to get him out, and that's what counts. The bootleg rollout, Dan said, if you just lift the ball a little higher there in the end mm -hmm. zone, because Malcolm he, was he, open in the back there. Yeah, he was a little frustrated about that when he, when he came out, and, you know, he, he said, Coach, I did. Just, you know, just you're a little frustrated. And, and when you get in those big games in that venue, you you got you to make those throws, and that was the only really glaring thing. The thing that was probably frustrating, and we reviewed it uh, this morning, was that uh, it was third down. You know, if you make a longer, a little higher throw, then you're going to be the fourth down and give us a chance to make that opportunity. But he's trying to make a play. He's, he wasn't shy. He wasn't bashful. He pulled the trigger. And I think that's part of being successful. So you got to go out there and pull the trigger and make sure you're pulling it the right, you know, at the right time. And, and, and those are things. And when we talked about this morning, getting to duplicate that in practice, I think that's a – a big deal because the speed of the game increases immensely when you get in the game and it does in practice. Les, when you got inside the five there, was there a thought of you going to Dak right then? Because you had done that all well, year. Yeah, uh, you know, we felt good with the plan we had, right. you know, and, and we were close. You know, we ran the we ran the ISO down there, you know. I mean, geez, if you watch it on film, uh, Chris gets his guy, Hemp Hill cleans it up, and then we had a double team on the three technique. The three technique comes off the double team and makes a play. So they made a good play. Right. I mean, you know, the kid, the, the defensive tackle, if he doesn't come off the double team, we score. And it, it was something that happened. So a &M like defense. Cool. What? What have you seen from a &M defense so far? Oh, they're, they're, they're active. They're everywhere. 94. Says. They're every, 94 is a good play. Good player. He's a really good player. You know, I mean, it, we, we just got to go play. I mean, I think it's, again, we're getting in the meat of our schedule, like we talked about. And it's going to be critical that we eliminate mistakes and that when the opportunity to, to make the plays uh, comes around, we make the play. It can't surprise you a little bit, you know, that your, I don't want to call them anything, but your babies on the offensive line kind of got trucked and got an SEC experience last week. Yeah, you, know, you know, they play. Or did you think I, they played better than well, it again, appeared? Here, here's what it is. You know, uh, Anytime you play an SEC schedule and, you, and, and you're putting, you got young kids, they're right. going to learn from it. And I think they've had a great learning experience. You know, I, you know, is it is it something we want to see? No, I think they're getting better, and we just need to continue getting better. I think that's the key to being successful. You know, when you walk into those types of venues, it can be pretty wild now. Thanks, Les. Sure.